So today I'd like to talk about PSAs or public service announcements and their related visuals. Uh, PSAs are very powerful medium for us to work with when it comes to persuading someone to changing a mindset, to changing um, a thought process with the goal of perhaps awareness, call to action, or a combination of many different outcomes. Um, <clears throat> the PSA can take many forms, and we're going to take a look at those visually right now. But let's look at dogs die in hot cars. Even with the window rolled down, dogs die in hot cars, your, your big message right there. And then the smaller admonition, even with the windows rolled down, you will see usually one or two very powerful images. Rarely will you see a PSA that has a collage or a mixture of different visual messages. So there's the dog, hot car, very clear to identify. Um, if you look at the bottom fourth of the PSA, you will see some explanatory text. As we look at our examples today, you'll see that varies depending on um, the need of the PSA, the target audience, and even placement. Is the PSA going to be somewhere like a subway or a bus uh, or a supermarket mounted to the front of the cart where people might take the time to linger and read? Or does it have to be quick impact, quick impact? And we'll see examples of both. Uh, so we have a tagline, a sub tagline, even with the windows rolled down. The descriptive text with a call to action potential. This summer, please leave your pet at home where it's cool and safe. And then if there are any sponsoring organizations or ways to learn more, that information will also be included. One thing I want to say about that at the outset, I don't think we'll see it in these examples, but this is the perfect opportunity for a QR code if you want people to have quick access to more information, a quick scan with their phone, and they're on their way. So again, another example of powerful call to action, respected is open access, a visual, don't trash the tradition, more text to support the message. Some are purely imagery and some are like this one. You have to pause long enough to see what's really happening to realize that, yes indeed, this is not just a forest but a photoshopped image of a forest in the shape of two human lungs but one of them is clearly not healthy. The message being forests are the lungs of the planet. Treat them with care. Uh, tagline before it's too late, and the, the World Wildlife Fund uh, logo, contact information. Simple, clean, elegant, perfect. Others give you pause where you have to think, what's happening here? Now this is actually not a technically a PSA. If you pay attention closely, it, it is an advertisement for a product, but it has that same very powerful message. The woman who's smoking cigarettes is 42 years old according to her birthday cake, but we are to believe that her appearance would suggest she's much older. PSAs are not new. Uh, some of them have entered our popular culture at this point. Um, loose lips might sink ships. Don't talk about what you know during the war. It might have disastrous results. This is one that has been uh, often imitated and modified and some of them just become incredibly iconic and well known. There's there's room for visual humor to a degree. Um, look out for cyclists and you can see what they've done here to place the cyclist actually on the roadway on the bike lane visual that we see all the time. Now you can't see this, but it essentially says stop using regular light bulbs and we'll stop running ads like these. Humor, you've got the visual of what you should do, 
the sad polar bear standing on a tiny chunk of ice will pull you in and then you'll think about, oh, why is the polar bear standing on a tiny chunk of ice? Let's pause for a second. Yes, because global climate change, the ice is melting, sea levels are rising. Back to our beginning, use compact fluorescent light bulbs. One child is holding something that's been banned in America to protect them. You look at it at first, it's a normal scene of two kids in the multi, and then you realize, whoa, that kid's holding a gun in school. That gets you to stop and look. So shocking images can work as well. Um, images that are visually rich. You look at this and you just wonder, I want to know more about this migrate story. There's an explorer um, sitting in a lavishly exotic setting with a monkey. Mm, I want to read more. And some take some time to digest. Uh, this is from a series of funny um, ads encouraging the viewer to consider alt art school or that art school is a great idea for the launch pad of a career. And it's based off of, of course, the anti-drug and alcohol ads where you would find something that someone has hidden in their bedroom. Well, what was hidden here was in fact some pretty amazing artwork. And humor is, has definitely has a place. The, the art to the humor is something that is still culturally respectful. So this is uh, the Iranian president Ahmadinejad, or a picture that purports to be of him standing on a table scared of a computer mouse. Why? Well, you figured it out by now, right? If you haven't, hit pause, because I'm going to tell you. Well, the reason the computer mouse is there is that it's suggesting that the Iranian government and leadership is afraid of the freedom of information that access to the internet would bring. It's not very respectful of him as a leader, but if you look at the room, it is still bringing in cultural elements of an Iranian government office, the, the decor, the flag, um, the Ayatollah's picture on the wall, and then the map itself. It is not disrespectful of the culture. The president, well, make your own conclusions. Faces are always powerful. And again, pay attention as we flip through these, not only at the faces, but also our taglines, China is getting ready, more supportive, text below, sponsoring organization, and contact info. Eyes. The eyes are the windows to the soul. Look at how eyes are used very powerfully. Faces, and in this case, these next two are combined with something that we see all the time, the Google search drop-down. So taking an everyday image and using it can be very powerful. And again, faces and eyes. or multiple sets of eyes. Also taking an everyday object and modifying it to make it more shocking or putting it in a, in, in a place that is out of context. Some people are very attached to their work and there's been some Photoshop work done here to make it look as if this woman has high-heeled shoes literally growing out of the soles of her feet. I don't like wearing a helmet, it ruins my hair. And this is clearly uh, someone who has suffered a head injury uh, and it must have been related to either, to wear, not wearing a helmet, either cycling or on a motorcycle. Again, everyday objects to shock. This is not a view that we often see of a toilet. It pulls you right in. It's not a pretty picture at all. It's pretty grimy and gross. It pulls you in and makes you think. Some just mimic truly everyday objects, but then you read it and you see what the real message is. Everyday object. But look at the bottom line of the eye chart. 
And this, even if you don't know what the direct message is, you're going to look at it and follow it to its ultimate conclusion. And some use text very powerfully as well. So as you consider your PSA, think about how you're going to use ethos, pathos, and logos, how you're going to in involve a call to action, um, what imagery that is respectful yet supportive and draws in your viewer. Selecting that in advance will make for a much more powerful PSA for you. Any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll have links to the other resources that you'll need also in the comment section for the um, comment guidelines questionnaire. And thanks for watching.